So the 49ers have 11 picks in the upcoming 2024 NFL draft. And one of the key events to prepare for that draft is the NFL Scouting Combine held annually in Indianapolis. Here's a behind the scenes look at the event. I was there for about five days. And it started with the head coaches and the general managers at the interview car wash. There's Mike McDaniel, former 49ers offensive coordinator, now the coach of the Miami Dolphins. You'll see McDaniel next to some of his NFL contemporaries. And as we continue panning, we're going to find former 49ers GM Trent Balky. Distinct voice, too. Trent Balky at the podium. Here's another familiar face. It's going to be okay. the man himself, Big Dom. <laughs> Everybody's on friendly terms. It's Big Dom talking to Mike Silver, and there's Big Dom dapping up John Lynch, whose podium availability was right next to Nick Sirianni's. Big Dom, of course, was following Nick Sirianni around everywhere at the Combine. Speaking of the Eagles, that was Doug Peterson, now the Jacksonville head coach. Here's a behind the scenes look at the media radio row slash TV studio row set up at the NFL Combine. This is at the Indiana Convention Center. It's part of one of those massive exhibit halls. You can see Chris Sims, Kyle Shanahan's buddy. They got matching tattoos. Sims and Kyle Shanahan, he's on the pro football talk set. City of Indianapolis. Well constructed. There's the big monument downtown, one of the soldier monuments. It's a basketball city. They love their basketball in Indianapolis. The NCAA obviously headquartered there. But then you got the Indiana Pacers. And guess who plays for the Pacers? The NBA's assist leader, Tyrese Halliburton. It's fitting that the NBA's assist leader, prolific passer Tyrese Halliburton, went to college with Brock Purdy at Iowa State. Halliburton and Purdy were close at Iowa State. And there you see him with the beautiful pass. I went to the game, lobbed it up off the backboard with just about a second left in the first quarter. That was really cool to watch. Of course, those of you who are fans of the 1990s NBA will recognize the Reggie Miller choking gesture. That's a statue, a big bobblehead at Gainbridge Fieldhouse. Of course, I also ate in Indianapolis. This place is called Gallery, which has got the big Anthony Bourdain mural on the wall. It's got a good breakfast sandwich and a Benedict that they call the bougie Benedict, and it is very aptly named. Bluebeard, excellent for small plates if you're ever in Indianapolis. And then Mass Avenue, Massachusetts Avenue. It's got a lot of good restaurants. Vicino's, the Italian place that I hit up. Look at that egg yolk and the carbonara. You get a lot of hearty food, including at this place, the working man's friend. It's only there briefly because they were closed, but I heard they had an awesome burger. Instead, I went to Goose, and Goose had a roast beef pimento cheese sandwich that did not disappoint now on the drive back to nashville on the way from goose through louisville kentucky chicken and me fried chicken sandwich but with the asian twist they had some asian sauce you can mix your sauces on it obviously kentucky fried chicken kfc the company is based in louisville that was the perfect halfway stop on the way home from Indianapolis. There's the behind the scenes look at the NFL Combine. A little bit different type of 49ers update this time, but wanted to make sure that you got the look beyond just the players running the 40s and doing the drills on the field. Wanted to make sure you got the look at what happens in that convention center. I mean, you could also talk about Jerry Jones and the Dallas Cowboys bus. That's part of it. Jerry Jones's bus rolls around town. Jerry Jones buys people shots at the NFL Combine. It's been said to happen at some time or the other in the past. But you can tell where Jerry's at normally by seeing that Dallas Cowboys bus. I know that probably doesn't make 49ers fans all too happy, but it's all part of the scene in Indianapolis during the NFL Combine.